a neuron's membrane, at rest, is positively charged on the outside and negatively charged on the inside. A membrane with opposing charges is known as a polarized membrane. The difference in charge inside and outside the membrane only occurs close to the membrane. The cytosol and extracellular fluids are electrically neutral. A typical value for a resting membrane potential is minus 70 millivolts. The resting membrane potential is maintained by three factors. First, an unequal distribution of ions and charges across the membrane. Second, a greater permeability of the membrane to potassium ions than sodium ions because of the presence of a greater number of potassium pores. This results in more positive ions leaving the cytosol and making the inside slightly more negative. And finally, the effect of the sodium-potassium pump. Because some sodium is always leaking in and potassium is leaking out, the pump helps by pumping out sodium as fast as it leaks in thereby maintaining the diffusion gradients of these ions. The result is a constantly maintained electrical charge across the membrane. In summary, many potassium ions leak out of the cell, leaving the inside of the membrane slightly negative. A small amount of sodium ions leak into the cell. The sodium-potassium pump maintains the chemical gradients of sodium and potassium and provides a small change in voltage. The average voltage maintained across a resting neuron cell membrane is about minus 70 millivolts.